Hello and uh, welcome back to my video. I have a subscriber questions here and the guy asked me how you can use the view notification in Nux because when you're using Nux.js you don't have the webpack configuration file like you do when you code directly in view CLI. So sometimes it could be a little bit confusing but I will show you in this video how you can do it and how you can work with the view uh, notification uh, plugin. You will use it uh, when you work with the small notifications coming in new uh, email and something has been changed and something like that. That's up to you how you use it but you can basically use this plugin inside Nox.js like every other plugins in view. So I will just uh, quick show what the the Nox uh, the view notification is sorry. You can see it's a very famous plugin. It's having 24,000 downloads a week, and here you get a little bit demo here. So let's go back to the browser where we have the Nox.js beginner um, tutorial here. So I will go in for my editor too, and the first I want to do is going to npm save and then sorry npm install save view notification and now install it i already have it right now but that's how you install it when you have installed it we need to create a, a plugin file we have the plugin folder here on the left side so first going for npm run and then right click on your plugin folder and create an JS, uh, the JavaScript file. We will call this for view notification. Oops. And then we're we'll going inside to a plugin uh, Nox config file scroll up to your plugin and then I'll create an object I will explain why and then build it here plugins and then the Nox the JS file and server side rendering we will say false I know you can uh, if you have working with the plugins before you will say hey you can do this uh, whoops and then your plugin will come inside automatically and something like that but I have tried that and it's giving me an error and I search on the internet about why it's giving me an error but I found a solution for this it's, and it's working you need to say it's happening on the client side and you should disable server side rendering I don't know why but it's working if you know why it's working and you can explain for me then you are hit to go with the comments fields below. I appreciate that so I know that's the next time. So then we can save this and going back to a plugin, we need to import view from the view and then we need to import notification from the view notification. And down here we need to say view use notifications. And now we basically have what we need to do. So let's play a little bit here and say on click and do notification. And we don't need this, and we go down here and say method. And this one, and then inside here, I want to say notification notif notify and I want to set the, the group 
where I need to place the group inside and should be full. And then I want to the title. Should be hello notify. And the text should be every thing I find now. Sorry for the spelling mistake if I have that. And the last thing we need is just place the notification here. Uh, notifications and we say the group should be boom and then we should go to go let's go in back for our browser here and you can see it here it's going away a little bit so that's how you're working with the view notification and if you need something you can go in for the documentation here just search for for view notification and then we go inside here and you have a lot of samples here and the documentation is down here so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy my video here about the Nox.js and how you can work with uh, prefix plugins you have from the view CLI I hope you want to subscribe my channel you can do it on the right corner on the thing below and of course I hope you want to give it a share and the like so your friends can see my video is good. Thank you so much for your time and hope to see you next time I create videos and one more time thank you for subscribing. See ya.